Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything's okay in your life. In this video, I will convey the September 1st, 2023 Global Up Update notes to you. A great update awaits for you. Please prepare your popcorns. Let's check what we have for this week. This week's first topic is about Iron of Solar. As you know, after reaching a certain rank level, you didn't have to do anything to hold them. However, a system has now been developed for players to maintain their rank. In this way, an opportunity was given to the players who joined later. You can now see the details on the left side on the screen. According to your rank, you will start to lose points according to the days you didn't play a match. Honestly, I'm curious what you guys thinking about this change. Please let me know in the comment section. In addition, rank matches can now be played on Tuesday and Thursday too. Practice mode is also now accessible whenever you want. The second topic of this week is about barter, but somehow it cannot attract the attention of the player and become popular. Reduce the number of the tier 1 trade items exchange materials. Also some hard to find items can be removed from the barter list. You can see the details on the screen. As you know, the number of the mysterious boxes that can rarely find when you pre research the island during the barter has been increased to 10. Big buff actually. Reduce the weight of the tier 1 barter items from 800 to 100. This is big change also. Tier 1 items will be much easier to collect someone who wants to barter, but the real question is how many people are willing to do butter as you know it's a content that was very popular in the first months but lost its popularity over the time due to the lack of rewards i think the content needs to be much more encouraging i've been completing c6 and c7 bosses as rank 1 for months but i didn't get debaroka earring even once can you imagine that no deba earring moreover i couldn't craft even for once with this pt system it's actually disgusting all bosses ap has been reduced by 40 percent to allow people to complete bosses more easily this is actually a nice change because at C7 level, some classes were dying in one skill due to low HP pool. Our fourth topic is about item stacking. The items in the list you see on the screen can now be stacked in your inventory. Our fifth topic is a very specific one because we have mentioned this subject many times in the class interview series. It's about outdated achievements in the game. You can see the details on the screen. We talked about giving fail stack in two videos and it's really accurate change. Thank you very much for this quality of life update. At the same time, previous achievements also changed. Items that differ as a result of these changes will be given after the update. Please don't worry about it. Our sixth topic is about Dekia Cyclops. They added the last expected Dekia spot. When this spot is added to the game, I will test for 10 hours and share it with you. We will be able to get Down Earring from this spot. Hopefully, Down Earring will become a more accessible accessories like Omnia String. Our seventh topic is actually pretty cool. Many spots in the game have received great PvE income buffs. Let's check all of them one by one. First spot is Dekia Ash Forest. The damage of the spinning forward slash attack of the Volpras in the Ash Forest has been reduced by about 31%. I think this will allow to endgame players can grind there safely. They also changed the trash loots. For Gaira's mob, it was 1 to 2 and they changed it to 2 to 3. For Barna's mob, it was 4 to 8, they changed it to 6 to 8. For Tomb Rat Ruins, it has been improved so that you can acquire loot when Putarek disappears by defeating all the monsters summoned by the Putarek in the Tomb Rat Ruins. Along with the loot acquisition, Putarek's knowledge can now be obtained with a specified probability. The amount of the Tomb Rat Ruins fragments that can be obtained from the defeating Tomb Rat Aesthetic and the Tomb Rat Guides has been changed. It was 2 to 4, now it is 3 to 4. For City of the Dead spot, for the minigame Elite Mob Knights of the Temerian Conviction, it was giving you to 15 to 30 trash loot, now it will be give you 80 to 100 trash loot. For Dekia Tunkuta, was before in the normal mobs 1 to 3, now they increased to 2 to 3, which is pretty good buff. For Ulutuka, it was like 80 to 100, now it is 80 to 150. You can find 10 artists for Tungra Dreams, Ulutuka, and some other spots in my channel. There are tons of PV videos in my channel. For Crypt of Resting Thoughts, for normal mobs, it was originally 2 to 3, but now it is 3 to 4, which is pretty big buff. For also big mobs, the elite mobs, 10 to 15 to 30 to 40, which is also a very big buff. For Dark Knight mob, 15 to 30 to 50 to 100, now we will be able to use Agris in Dark Knight mob. I would love to see more changes for Rosnal boss, but there is no changes about Rosnal boss. Hopefully we can see more changes about Rosnal boss. This is actually interesting about particular ancient ruins. They increase the trash rate of the normal mobs from 2 to 4 to 4 to 5. This is extremely big change. I don't know how it will affect, but they also changed history on Nakman last week and again in Kortuga. Interesting. For Olun's Valley, this is normal Olun's Valley by the way, they increase the trash loot for normal mobs and the four arm from 2 to 3. For the main golem, they increase it from 2 to 4 to 4 to 5. I think after these changes, Olun's Valley, the normal Olun's Valley will be viable with your aggress. 
They increased the amount of the trash that you can drop from the mobs. It was like 3 to 5, now it is 4 to 6. And from Ulutuka, 20 to 30, they increased to 80 to 100. For Tornwood Forest, this is normal Tornwood Forest, they increased the normal trash loot from the 1 to 2 to 1 to 3, which is pretty good. And also they increased the trash loot of, that you can get from the Elite mob from 2 to 4 to 10 to 15, which is pretty good. Gaifenrasia Upper, they increased the trash loot that you can drop from the Gaifenrasia from 4 to 6 to 5 to 7. I don't know why they increased the Agris. You're just buffing the trash loot and also you're nerfing the Agris. So this is not actually buff according to my experience. For Sunil Camp, they increased normal trash loot from 1 to 3 to 2 to 4 for all mobs. For Mrogak Labyrinth, they increased the trash loot from Ironclad Mroska and Mroska obtained from 1 to 2 to 1 to 3, which is pretty huge buff. For Rutum, this is actually a nerf, I'm sorry for that because its spot was like broken, I can say. The number of the biting Rutum fangs that can be obtained by defeating the following monsters has been changed. Rutum Soldier, Rutum Brawler, Rutum Elite Brawler, Rutum Mage, Rutum Archer and Rutum Soldier. It was 2 to 5, now it is 2 to 4. Our 8th topic is actually a separate video subject itself. You can find the update notes in the description section. If I've had to put such a long change about the siege and nodes in this video content, I think the video duration would be like 40 minutes or something. Also, there are too many errors when translating from Korean with the Google Translate. I will also make a video when the change comes our official servers, because this is a very sensitive subject and I don't want to make a wrong presentation. Thank you for your understanding. Another subject is about content and UI changes. Improvements has been made to open the UI for the equipment that allows you to check others' adventurers' choice when enhancing the equipment. When searching for the items in the warehouse, the effect of the searched items has been improved to be more noticeable. For the final part, a great quality of life update. When a horse acquires the spin skill, it has been improved so that it is acquired for 100% skill proficiency. In order to use the spin skill, it is necessary to mount the harness in the saddle part as before. If you are at the training prof 1 or higher, you can automatically use sprint while moving automatically. Alright, from this point on you will find class changes and incredibly large PV buffs for awakening walk. At the same time, the movement skill that you describe as wall train and which is enabling the easy grind in early game spot has been nerfed. I will not read all the changes one by one because there are tons of changes. You can find the details in the images. I tried to translate all the skill names one by one. I hope you guys like my contents. Do not forget, video is just a game. Have a nice game.